at this motherfucker waiting for us. The bus stops, parking the bus stop, and as the bus stop, I'm getting ready to get off. He drives off. And he drives up in front of me. Yeah, let's take a picture. Let's, let's see his ass. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you get a license plate number. Uh, KHT 4882. Tell you, they always gotta, they always gotta retaliate some shit, right? Keep saying you're not gonna make me subservient. It's your coercive persuasion program, and fuck you. You're not gonna try to set me up. You're not gonna try to rail me, railroad me. All right, fuck you again too. Anyhow, so like I was saying, so Pam, you know, uh, going back into that mindset, that 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 again, you know, because uh, I'm pretty sure she's been getting some calls. Like I said, my experience with her taught me well. Okay, and when she gets like this, I know that she got a date coming up. Okay. But she got in the house and just went straight to sleep. Went straight to sleep. Okay? Kept her daughter home. Instead of sending her to school, she kept her home. Talk about she didn't sound well, have you? You have medicine there. It's cold medicine. When I'm there, I give her a cold medicine. I give her a cold medicine and send her to school. Okay? The cold medicine, she's taken it before and it's fine. But no, because she doesn't want to, uh, again, uh, do what she needs to do. She wants to start conserving her energy for her date. You know, that's what she does. She put all her energy in other things except for her kids. You know, and the, and the, the bare minimum that she does, she think it's, uh, you know, it's enough, right? You know, that's why she asked me to cook today. She probably gonna go out tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, that's why she always, she's like, you know, can you cook today? And I usually normally say no, but I said to her, you know, if you season, then it's fine. You know? And so, yeah. <laughs> that's what I, yeah, that's what I did. But still, I knew it, you know, she didn't want to come home and she didn't want to do none of that stuff, right? Okay, you make that decision that you want to be a single parent and I should not even be there. Shouldn't, I've been there for so long. You know, I should not even be there because other men in relationships like this don't, they're not doing what I do. You know, like yesterday she, she tried to test me on my strength, you know, because they got her thinking that she could beat me in a fight. You know, I'm like, yeah, okay. And I really had to show her. I literally had to show her. I said to her, I said, listen, when you start, when you, when you used to try to confront me and start pushing me and getting in my face, I said, Pamela, I wasn't, I wasn't even using a tenth of my strength. Okay, I said as much as my, you know, my damage to my back, my, my I lost my ability to balance like I, like I used to, to balance, you know, because I was standing with my legs uh, apart and she was standing, you know, turned to her side and she was blocking me, so, you know, so I went to push her, so she was pushing me back. You know, again, this is what they do, right? How they, how they do the microaggression. Because she wanted to say, oh yeah, I can beat you. I'm tougher than you. I have you. I, you can't take me on. I'm like, Pamela, please. This is how they got y'all woman thinking, okay? I said, the weakest man can beat you. Okay? So, you know, I had to show her. You know, she, so I, I had to, I changed my stance. And, you know, as she's coming towards me, trying to push against me, I just stand still and I just, just pushed her with my arm. <laughs> with my arm, right? Not even my body, with my arm. And she flew back and I, and I grabbed her. And I said, I said, don't let feminism fool you into thinking that you can beat me in a fight, physically. Because that's not going to happen, okay? <laughs> that is not going to happen. You know? I said, I, I don't hit women, right? I said, when you, start to, when you used to try to fight me, I said, I, I was just trying to defend myself and prevent you from hitting me. I wasn't trying to, you know, fight you back. You could bob and weave and act like you, I'm just like looking at her like, yo, you, they really got you all thinking that you can beat men physically. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's black women that, that's pushing this rhetoric, that they, that they push this, 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 this sort of nonsense with, and they believe this shit. They literally believe this. You know, <laughs> so, you know, then for the rest of the night, she just got real quiet. 
she just got real quiet. I didn't say nothing. She got real quiet. Also tonight they were talking. They were they were microwaving the kids and I uh, to try to prevent me from leaving. So every time the kids will walk into the foyer, heading t towards the door. No, they're not actually going outside the door, but you have to walk out of the living room and it's like you're heading towards the door then you got to make a right to, to turn into the foyer to go to the kitchen you know and um and every time they 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 will walk out of, walk out of the living room into the foyer they would stop look at the stand up in front of the door and put their hands behind their back doing the palm fixation drill you know but it wasn't like for me it was telling me that if i leave that they will make sure that they will destroy any relationship that my kids have uh, you know and again these are the wickedness of these people right because once they see it's like Malcolm X right Malcolm X kids uh, Dr. Martin Luther King kids you know any sort of civil rights leaders or freedom fighters what do they do they try to they try to end your bloodline that's what they try to they try to end your bloodline because they know the ancestors that rest within you are warriors they know the ancestors that rest within you and I are warriors this is why you see they do what they do into Haiti. See, people people don't think about it in that aspect, right? The reason why they keep Haiti in such a destitute state that that nation is in is because their ancestors defeated the French, right? So not just attack on the nation itself and its resources, trying to steal the resources, but also to keep the people down from rising up. And so, what do you do? You constantly pay off these warlords to engage in violence to traumatize people because you know people are traumatized what do you think that does to them they lose focus they become so so uh, uh, paranoid and 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 driving them mentally uh, insane right that the that the warriors within their bloodline don't emerge and this is this is how they do this you know, when they see that they cannot control you with money, when they see that they cannot threaten you with, with being killed, with the, all that stuff, they see that you're standing up, you're standing strong. Then what they'll do? What do you think they'll do? All right? Somebody needs to end their bloodline. Like I said, anything that they do to me should be done to them. They want to end my bloodline, end their bloodline. Okay? There you go. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.